Good evening and welcome. I'm Sheila Balgobin, Principal of Simply Improve Health, and I help people to train better and longer and recover more quickly, have improved sleep, and enjoy better quality of health using simple techniques. This evening, I uh, wanted to, to share with you um, how the importance of uh, recalling from time to time why you do what you do. And the reason why um, it's important to, to, to regularly get in touch with why you do what you do is because you get involved in the tables and chairs of things and it runs away from you. You start to, to get involved up in the tables and chairs of, of building a business or running your life um, and forget why you're doing what you're doing instead of it just being this automatic exercise that you're trudging along and you're not getting anywhere. You have to get in touch with your vision. It's really, really important. You have to regularly go back to the source of that passion that drives you. Now, uh, what drives people is, is can be very different. I mean, some people, for the love of, you know, in an altruistic sense, but for the love of humanity, for people for the love of their family, some people for love of themselves, whatever it is, being in touch with what it gives that spark, that passion, has to be um, touched upon regularly if you're not going to lose your way. And I was uh, reminded of that um, by a couple of incidents that had occurred in the last um, few days, one of which was um, a lady who had seen one of my um, lives and got in touch with me um, and, uh, and said to me, um, and I was so touched, that because of, of things that she had um, read that I had set uh, either in a live or, you know, in a post, that she was able to make some decisions and, and not only um, turn her own life around, but to help others to do the same. Um, and that just blew me up absolutely away. I felt very humbled by that. And I thank, thank that lady so much for that message because I needed to hear it. I needed to be reminded what why I do what I do, who I am and why I do what I do. Um, because I, I, like I was just, just saying, get balled up in the, the, the doing of things and forget the feeling of it um, and get becoming bogged down and becoming stuck. I'm starting to become stuck again. And it was like, no, I'm not going to that place again. What is it that is, is miring me down and keeping me from keeping my, my focus on my vision. And it was uh, something that got sent to me by chance. I read it and it said something that essentially was, you can't serve two masters. <laughs> and that, that, I think out of, you know, there were 10, 10, 10 points about why, you know, um, things may not be going so well with your business um, if it's if it's more spiritually based. And the thing that leapt out at me is that you you have to keep your focus. You can't serve two masters. And I was still trying to hang on in some way to my old life. My old life as a stockbroker, as a banker. That's not who I am now. That's not what I need to be involved with right now. And because I was trying to, to in, in, in essence, ride two horses, um, I was satisfying either master and becoming more and more frustrated. And it took something like that lady um, reminding me why it is I do what I do. Yes, the money is important. Yes, I've got to pay bills. And no matter how much money I make, I'll still have bills to pay. But I had to. Um, I just had to be able to get to terms with why um, I was stuck. And it was because I was losing my way. I was losing my vision, um, my focus. And as a result, um, I wasn't getting any results because I was all over the place, so to speak. 
and it made me uh, realize that I had to do some um, serious thinking, get with myself and do look at some things um, and make some decisions. And I'll tell you what. But from it's been 24 hours from me reading <laughs> reading this ebook that I received, um, making some decisions, and then getting a phone call from someone um, who's um, become a, a new a new business partner. You can't make this stuff up. Um, and there's a reason. I mean that, that the the result was just that quick was because. I recognized and took responsibility for losing focus. And I had to get back in focus, which meant I had to give up something. And it's a decision I had been, I knew I had to make for about six months or more. And I wasn't making that decision. I was just dancing around it and I got stuck. Um, and the minute I decided to let that go and not look at this, it oh, it's some, a part of me that's being lost, but it's something that no longer serves me. It's no longer right for me. And I needed to move on because holding on to it was just becoming an anchor around my neck. Um, and I thought I would feel more uh, upset that I was letting this thing go, but I had been dodging it for so long and knew what my heart knew what I needed to do. And I was ignoring, in a sense, <laughs> that fact. But circumstances forced me to, to take another look. And I had to admit that it was time to let certain things or certain people out of my life because they no longer served the higher purpose that, I, that I'm here to serve. So Your life, where you you know in your heart that you need to to make a hard decision, um, but you're dancing around it and then raging at the skies because you're stuck. You're stuck because you're sticking yourself in. You're painting yourself into a corner. You're not giving yourself the flexibility to be able to recreate and to change over time. And that's the thing. We paint ourselves into corners and then get, we get upset when we can't get out of them because we lose our focus. And that's what I had to remember to, um, this past week, that I had to remember that the who I am and who I am um, is a person who looks to the, the total well-being of my clients, not just my, making money or not just or not just. Um, you know, taking people's money to, to and giving some kind of result. No, I want them to be able to heal, help them to heal and stand on their own two feet. And when I get back uh, testimonials from people who say, you know, um, I've been dancing around making a decision about something, but I finally decided to go for it and my life has changed. Or someone who says, you know, something you've said or something you, you've, you've written has changed my life. And I'm not only changing my life, but I'm changing somebody else's life. That is the biggest high I, you could ever imagine to realize that something that I've said and done has helped somebody to, to move forward in their lives. And that's what I'm here to do, to help people to move forward in their lives. But I had to be able to to go back, to, to regroup, to retrench and look at why I was doing what I was doing. And those two people, among others, told me why. I was, it reminded me why I was doing what I was doing, what I, why I do what I do. And so I challenge you to think about this. Where in your life is your heart crying out for you to to do or not do in, in some cases something um, and you're, you're not listening and finding yourself stuck. Get unstuck. <laughs> Get, you know, come unglued. Get unstuck. Break free of your own self-imposed prison and get back to the essence of who you are and what it is you're about. If you don't know who that is, if you need help to find out, 
there are many resources and I'm happy to share them with you. All you have to do is contact me. But it's really, really vital for anything you do in this life, um, whether you, you know it on, as a, as, on a private level or professional level, if you're not constantly in touch with your vision, you will lose your way. And thinking about this, I worked for a civil rights organization in the U.S. for, um, for um, a number of years, many years ago, and everything that we did, our direct, executive director say everything has to be linked back to our mission statement. Everything has to be justified through the lens of why we do what we do. And it's a come back to that, um, and it's a it's a good reminder. And having clients come back and tell me um, how I've helped them in some way in their life is to brings me right back to why I do what I do. So think about that. If you're not living the why of your life, why you do what you do, then you maybe you need to, to take some time off and sit down with yourself and really think about who you are and what it is you need to be doing in this life. That's it from me. Um, I hope you found some value in that, and if you did, please leave a comment, uh, drop some emojis, some love hearts, some new thumbs up, some wows, um, and if you if you like to continue this discussion, contact me. I'm always happy to to uh, undertake discussions and and see where they lead. Thanks once again for listening and watching. Oh, and I'd have to say. Um, I will be making some pretty um, exciting announcements um, in, the, in my next live, so I do hope you'll join me for that. Um, some big changes as a result of, of um, going back to my why um, and really being um, who I am and doing what I love. So stay tuned. Um, there'll be more on it. Um, it has some... Um, some exotic locations may be connected to it, so you um, <laughs> listen out for that. And thanks again for listening and watching. Have a great evening, a lovely weekend, and I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.